I'm Bob Holloway with Marine Max in Dallas, uh, doing a little quick walkthrough on the Boston Whaler 230 Vantage. Uh, beautiful boat. Obviously, it's a whaler. It's constructed the best that a boat can be constructed. Um, some really cool features on this boat and makes it a really usable, kind of a utility, uh, sport utility type boat. It can be used as a deck boat, a fishing boat, a runabout. It's got a lot of versatility. Um, when you start at the back of the boat, there's some really cool features. Um, obviously, you've got nice big swim step area in the back, good access to the engine. You've got some rod holders on the back of the boat, stainless steel through bolted. Um, nylon lined, uh, really easy on your rods, also makes a lot less noise. Uh, stainless steel grab handles on the back. Um, of course, like all whalers in the gunnel, you've got your, uh, your rope pass through, so the rope will actually come from the boat. It'll go down through the stainless steel um, rope portal and attach to the cleat inside. So it gets the cleat off of the boat, so uh, you don't have a cleat outside that can hang onto your fishing lines, hang onto mooring lines. Uh, makes it a lot easier to get in and out of the boat without tripping over anything. Obviously, stainless steel rod holders throughout the back of the boat. Uh, really nice little um, entertainment center area here with a pull-out sink. Uh, you've got a Yeti cooler underneath, there's a cutting board, um, drink holders, stainless steel grab handle, nice little stainless steel rail on the back of the galley to keep stuff from sliding out. Um, while you're there, it's a great time to look at how the T-top is mounted on this boat. Like all Boston Whaler uh, T-tops, this thing is overbuilt, over-installed. It's through bolted to the side of the gunnel, extremely strong. It's actually got a ski toe built into the top. Uh, your all-around light is incorporated in the top. You've got some really nice LED lights, um, simple little courtesy lights underneath the T-top to kind of illuminate things at night and give it a little bit of character. Um, the the flip-flop seat on the port side of the boat, it's a really neat seat. It's obviously got the function that it can stand straight up and down to allow people to sit on both sides. Um, so basically you've got forward and aft facing seats. You can bring it back uh, towards the back and give you a little bit of incline on the front. It also drops into a couple of chaise lounge positions and it will also drop all the way down to make this more like an observer seat. So if you want to watch kids pull on wakeboard, ski or whatever, you've got a nice comfortable place to do that. You've also got some really nice storage underneath here. Um, nice, well, well built, well lined. And then you've also got storage compartment on the back and that lifts up and there's a live well under there. And this cushion pulls out, it's got a bracket to pull out and make a chaise lounge facing forward. So really versatile seating, probably one of the most versatile port seats on any boat. You've got cup holders throughout the boat, pretty much anywhere you're sitting you're going to have a cup holder. Uh, this has a JL sound system, JL speakers with a fusion head unit. So it's Bluetooth already, it's got USB input, 1.5 millimeter jack. In the dash you've got a 12 volt outlet. You've got the uh, gauges, the Smartcraft gauges for the engine. You've got the Boston Whaler uh, Ray Marine system, it's a hybrid touch system. Really nice display, 12 inch display. Pretty much gives you all of your GPS uh, functions, uh, boat control systems, everything's on there. Uh, you've got some really nice stainless steel switches. Uh, the toggle switches illuminate when they're on so it's easy to tell when you've got something on. You also have your Linko um, trim tab controls, really nice steering wheel, a little bit overbuilt steering wheel like everything Whaler does. It's strong and it's sleek and it looks good. You've got a compass in the dash, uh, it's illuminated at night. You've got the one piece um, stainless steel uh, stanchion mounts to hold the stainless the, the windshield in place. Stainless capped windshield looks really good on the boat. You also notice in the bow of the boat, you've got speakers in the front. Uh, you've got a really nice comfortable seating area. Uh, there's a little cushion that'll drop in in that center spot in the front to make it all around wraparound seating. You've got cup holders in that in, in both sides on the, the combing pads. You also have in the front of the boat, you've got your windlass. Um, really nice windlass system, it's really well built. You've got a stainless steel uh, bow wash down shower on the front. You've got your lights on the front of the boat. The cleats, the cleat area and the light area is recessed. Once again, we don't have anything kind of sticking up and in the way. Um, no danger really of tripping over it or getting clothing caught in the cleat. Nice stainless steel grab handles in the bow and once again, they're also recessed so they're not sticking up. Pretty much any place you sit in the boat from a comfort and safety standpoint, you've got something to grab a hold of. Any seat in the boat, you're close to something to get a hold of. This boat also has a really nice head compartment. Uh, this is a massive head compartment for this size of boat. We've got a pump out porta potty in the boat. There's a little sink. Um, huge. For, for a 23 foot boat, you won't find a bigger head compartment. You've got a ski locker in the floor. Um, one thing that Whaler does in a lot of the Vantage boats, 
they've got a little trash receptacle right here so you can kind of toss trash in there and it comes back to this area in this storage compartment there's a uh, bucket in there once again this storage compartment actually can access from this side or it can access from the front uh, that starboard side cushion raises up and actually gives us access to the storage underneath massive storage compartment it basically runs from that front all the way back to the driver's helm this door can lock in place to make your bow door close uh, keep the wind from coming through another thing i love about this boat is this lock compartment is actually lockable so if you want to throw some gear in there and you want it secure you can lock it big ski locker the rear of the boat um, has your your water um, for your water system you fill it there a nice little tray on the side. You'll notice in the, for fishing, the back of the boat has tow holes, so it's a great way to fish off the side of the boat. And obviously, if you're out, you've been out in big water, you know you kind of need a place to hook your toes to make yourself a little more secure. Nice big seat in the back of the boat that actually folds up, folds up and stows out of the way. So if we are fishing, we've got a really good fishing platform on the back of the boat. A couple more speakers. What can I say? It's a Boston Whaler. It's overbuilt. It's it's set up the way a boat needs to be uh, set up to do what this boat does. If you want to see some of the Boston Whaler products, we've got them basically from 13 feet all the way up to 37 feet here at our store. Uh, we're at Marine Max in Dallas. Uh, you can reach us 24 hours a day, seven days a week at marinemax.com. Thanks a lot.